What's up, everybody? This is MD Kepner. Today, we're going to take a look at the Fallout 3 Intel HD graphics fix. Now, this specifically targets resolving crash when you click play and black screen issues if you are using an Intel HD graphics chipset. If you've got a dedicated video card or an AMD integrated chipset, this isn't going to resolve your problem. The first thing that we want to do is download the fix from Nexus Mods. I'll have the link in the description below. The Intel HD Graphics Bypass Package. We want to get that downloaded. And there we go. Next thing, we want to get that on our desktop. And then we want to go ahead and extract it. Now, I've already got it extracted here, so let's jump right in. So you can see there's not a lot here, but if you open up the README, it's going to have the steps. It's going to, we're going to move a D3D9DLL file directly into your Fallout 3 file, which is going to trick the game into thinking you have an NVIDIA GeForce 7000. The second step is uh, we're going to move a Fallout.ini that has been specifically edited to reduce the graphic settings so that the game runs on lower settings to get past any other further graphics problems that you have. So let's go ahead and get that D3D9.dll into the folder. First thing we need to do is find it, grab Fallout 3 in your library, right click on that, properties, go to local files, Browse local files. Here we go. We're going to basically copy the D3D9 file and we are going to paste it into our Fallout 3 folder. And there we go. We've got it right there. And now try and play the game. If you still crash when you click play or you get a black screen, you may have additional pro. There may be something else that's causing the issue. But in most cases, this fixes the graphics portion of what could be causing the problem. The next step, like I said, it's optional as it's just going to tune down the graphics. You can move the Fallout.ini into your My Documents, My Games, Fallout 3 folder. Um, that's like I said that's just a precautionary thing I've never actually recommended that anyone does that portion of it in most cases just moving the d3d9 DLL into your fallout folder resolves the problem but that should fix the black screen or crash to desktop when you click play issues uh, that are directly related to the Intel HD graphics chipsets if you have any questions or other issues that you're running into, leave them in the comments field below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can if I have any resolutions or fixes. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. The support is very appreciated. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.